<laughs> so is, would you consider the women that you are into now sugar mamas? No. I mean, the woman that I'm pretty excited about talking to right now, we're not officially in a relationship, but I'm very excited about her. She definitely is open to being a generous partner and she's very, very successful, but she found me not on seeking. She followed my content and was like, I really like you. I like what you're doing in the world. You're healing the women. I'm healing the children with my work. Let's band together and change the world and, and be life partners. And it's beautiful. Um, I'm very excited about her, but I don't know, you know, I, I don't know where that's going to go. Wait, wait, are you guys dating or are you just in conversation about stuff that has nothing to do with that? So lesbians move very fast, sir. Even though we're not officially exclusive, that's the conversations that are had. I literally know what she'd want as her wedding ring. That's how lesbians talk. We move fast, fast. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, come question, visit. Though. But would you have considered her as an option for you if she wasn't successful in yes. the way that she is? Yes, beautiful soul and really sexy and takes care of herself. And so if she had no money, soul. if she had no money, in other words, like you had more money than her in some capacity, would you date her? I don't think I could be attracted to someone who had less money than me because I'm just getting started and I plan to be wealthy then, on then, my own. Then let's not let's not look at it from the from where you're at right now. So imagine if you were the person that made a boatload of money, would you mm. date someone that was less successful than you. Yeah, because maybe I'd want to spoil them because gifts are my love language. So God. whether it's receiving or giving, I think as long as the dynamic is where someone's giving and someone's taking and there's that exciting exchange, I'd be down for it. So like one day I'm going to be the MILF. I'm dating older women. They're going to die before me. <gasps> I'm going to have to be the rich MILF, right? I'm going to have to shift to like a younger woman. I've already accepted this reality, Jeff. It, <laughs> It's sad. <laughs> Wait, so so this is starting to make better sense the way you're saying this, right? So you said if you made a lot of money, let's say you're a millionaire, right? Mm -hmm. Just think about it, right? If you're a millionaire, you would date someone, let's say for the sake of the conversation, man or woman, right? That made significantly mm -hmm. less than you if you're already a millionaire. Yeah. I mean, I just think it'd be fun to spoil someone, okay. like have that dynamic. Like it'd be so fun to just be like knowing how badly they need it and just loving someone so much and being able to give to them. And that's what makes receiving so, so fun. It, it's an, it's an exchange. It's love, but also the love languages are real gifts and physical touch. Yeah, are mine. Yeah, yeah, what are yeah, yours, yeah. Jeff? What, what are mine? Yeah. What are yours? What do you think they are? What do you think my love languages are? Words. Yeah. Why you say that? Because you're a communicator like me. You have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so honest, honest truth about my love language is that words are the furthest from my love language. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. What is it? I actually hate, not that, I, okay. Hate's a strong word. I'm very anti like, I'm okay. I'm, I am a great communicator in a lot of scenarios. I do it in my business. I do it you know, on the podcast, obviously. And I, uh, um, and I do that with my peers, but it's, it's not what I lean on for attaching mm. to people. Right. Also gifts is also very down in the bottom, believe it or not. Right. Which is why I'm very gotcha. fascinated about this, this lifestyle because I can't connect with it. Like I've had women buy me gifts. Right. And I've had women who, uh, where gifts is their love language. And I didn't really know what to do with it. Cause I'm just like, you just want me to buy you stuff? I just don't get it, right? Wait, let me ask you this as a coach. Did you have trouble receiving gifts as a child because your parents didn't, like something made you feel uncomfortable about receiving? No, it wasn't, there it, it wasn't, it was, it's not about, it's not about feeling uncomfortable receiving gifts. It's about how overpowering the other love languages are and how much mm. more value I gain from that and how much of those were an example of how I received love that the other stuff didn't even register as a language to me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Um, so do you know what my love language is? Acts of service and quality time. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> You want action from people, yeah. not words, not yeah. gifts. Like, 
Yeah, heart. I don't like. I I love I love someone who's very thoughtful. And if you want to buy me a gift, great. But um, what are we gonna do? Like, what are we actually doing? Um, so let me ask you a question. So, in the effort of like helping people, because you help women and you give them a lot of guidance, right? I receive yes. a lot of questions from um people who listen to the podcast and they send me video they send me audio they send me text messages or whatever that they want me to ask my guests so do you want to answer Ooh. like one or two questions yeah let's go all right put so me in the hot seat you're in the, <laughs> in the hot seat ladies and gentlemen all right we're gonna play we're gonna start with something very simple and mm-hmm. then we'll get into something deeper okay mm. she's like mm. I'm ready mm. she said she's ready this is getting a little mm. All right. I don't have <laughs> underwear on Jeff. What? <laughs> <laughs> I had to go there. The, mm. oh, you're killing me. 